some of the casinos have been relatively busy on the weekends. So occupancy is in the 60 to 65 percent. It's really the midweek business. Um, that's that's kind of what where where they're losing money and it's a little bit of a ghost town. Uh, the people who are coming right now, I think they're they are the gamblers. So you're seeing a spend per visit on the gaming floor uh, that's actually quite strong in terms of gatherings. The state just lifted the amount of people uh, permitted to be in a social setting from 50 to 250. So that could help on the small convention side. But then for the regular casino floor, as long as you're maintaining the the six feet and the plexiglass between you and the next player at the slot machine, uh, casinos are comfortable with that. Okay, so let's turn our attention to Macau. And because talking about that 90% drop in September, it's pretty severe. What do you think is ahead in terms of a recovery? And who looks best positioned to benefit from any recovery on the cards? Yeah, I'd say, you know, backing up a couple of weeks when a lot of these companies reported their second quarter earnings, we thought that Golden Week would be a really nice catalyst. And you could start to see um, kind of the floodgates open and more normalcy. Uh, behaviors, but we're still expecting for uh, the month for October to be down roughly 70%. Um, given the measures that you have to take to visit the market right now, I know you know certain people are pushing for uh, for those to ease. But uh, I think October, November, December, we're going to continue to see you know down 60 to 70%. That mid to high end player really isn't showing up right now, and I think we need to see that player plus the junkets come back from Macau to, to turn back on. Uh, Chad, do, this pain does seem it will linger for some time. When you look at a performance like we just did with Win Macau off some 35% year to date, do any of these stocks look compelling mm -hmm. to you on the cheap? Well, we still like the companies with the best balance sheets, the most diversified. So from a U.S. perspective, we like Las Vegas Sands. Um, that's one of our top picks here. Um, you know, my analyst in Hong Kong, uh, he actually prefers uh, Galaxy and then uh, Win Macau. So if Win Macau can get some of those premium mass or VIP players back into their properties, I think that's probably a stock that will, will serve as a coiled spring. And you'll really see yeah. that shoot up. Uh, the gaming stocks in general for the past you know, two or three months have really underperformed the market. And I think you know, expectations have come down to a level here. But we need to see some demand during Golden Week and during the rest of October to get some momentum back in the sector.